Kane Sport TV, we're here with Jordan Miller and uh, you know, Coach L's been talking about you all year, the, the most underappreciated player in the country and, and that sort of thing. Today, Texas was focused a lot on your teammates and, and the ball had to go through you and you go seven for seven from the field and 13 for 13 from the free throw line, 27 points and your team's going to the final four. What's going through your head right now? Yeah, um, I didn't even know I had a perfect game until someone told me afterwards. I was just so focused on wanting to win. Um, you know, I, I said this before, or in the media, I'm just very proud of this group. Uh, we were down, I think, 14, or we were down at halftime. We haven't been down at halftime in a really long time, at least at this margin. And the way we came together, pulled through, played for each other, everyone was in double figures. Uh, just very proud of this group. And uh, Texas, I mean, I don't know if they surprised you guys, but uh, Coach O was talking about how much fast they were, and, and that contributed greatly to them putting you in the hole they did. Plus, they were shooting 60% from the field. Uh, but you guys didn't panic. What, what was going through your minds at that point? Yeah, I, I was making sure personally that no one was panicking. Um, we've been down before throughout the season. Um, I, I think their ability to score the ball was really impressive. Um, it bothered us that they were denying us. Um, we were starting our offense a little bit too far out. Um, but we know at the end of the day it was going to come down to stops. Um, we couldn't go back and forth because they had such a good lead. And we, we found a way somehow, you know, to just come up with stops, not let them get second chance opportunities, and will this went out. What did you think when they went switch you to the five spot or something you ever done? Yeah, um, I mean, I was comfortable with it. I think we did it one time, one game before. Um, but, you know, I, I trust the coaches. I was like, this is what they think the best group or the best group of players that can come out and, and, and will this game through. Um, so, you know, it, I got to watch the film back to see how effective it was. But uh, I was, yeah, I, I was comfortable. Um, you know, at the end of the day, just wanted to pull that one how out. How much does Coach Ed's demeanor and just his calmness, how much did that play a factor today? Yeah, um, you know, Coach Ed's always calm. Uh, he's really good at like, rallying the troops and getting us to uh, not not panic, not not play too fast, not too anything. So, you know, having a coach like Coach L is great for just keeping us level-headed. Um, you know, when someone's yelling and screaming in your face all the time, like, yeah, it has its perks, but when someone's calm, you know, it's kind of like that reverse effect. And I think, you know, that's what Coach O does. Did he say anything today that he thought, like, was really registered with you guys or, or kind of helped see, you know, help this come back at all? Um, I mean, he says so much. I, I wouldn't say he said anything new, but, you know, he just explained to us that it's a 20-minute, it's a 40-minute game. Um, they're shooting the ball really well, which our game plan was that, you know, they're not really a three-point shooting team. See if they can do it for 40 minutes. Um, and it ended up working out for And now you're going to the final four. What does that mean? It's huge. This is my first time. This is school's first time. Uh, it honestly feels surreal. Uh, you know, we're going to celebrate tonight, maybe a little bit tomorrow, but, you know, we, we got a good UConn team to play. They're rolling right now. Um, so, you know, celebrate tonight and then lock back in tomorrow. All right, Jordan, congratulations. Thank you.